Boche at conference. Thanks very much for that great welcome. Cadeirith, Gynhadleth, Diochen Vaur Iawn, am a croeso gwych. It's great for us to be back in snowy Llandid, no? Once again, for this, the spring conference. But thank you for all the efforts you've made to be here this morning. But conference, as you'll recall, 12 months ago, the Welsh Tories cancelled their conference here at the very last minute. I think it's worth reminding ourselves of the excuse the Tories offered at the time, and I'll quote them. Important are the upcoming council elections across Wales. Sounds like Yoda from Star Wars, actually. <laughs> and in order to give these the fullest support, we're changing our plans for the Welsh Conservative Party conference this year, changing our plans to give the fullest support for the council elections. But just a few weeks later, at those very same local elections, we all know what happened. On election day, the Welsh Tories lost control of both their councils and they lost over a third of their councillors. Can you imagine the carnage they would have suffered if they'd actually gone ahead with their Llandidno <laughs> conference? <laughs> conference is hard to believe that uh, a week ago today, Wales stormed a victory in the Six Nations. Yay! Is there anyone in this room who didn't feel proud to be Welsh last Saturday? What a performance, what a fantastic day it was for Wales. By the way, if you haven't received your pound yet from Austin Healy, you can message him on Twitter. Sure, he'll pay up. Of course, conference this weekend isn't about rugby. It's about football. Firstly, there was a great win last night in the snow at Hamden Park for Wales against Scotland in the World Cup qualifier. And tomorrow, it's about Wrexham. I want to wish the Dragons the very best of luck tomorrow at Wembley against uh, Grimsby Town. Pobloch, Wrexham, Vori, and Erbin, Grimsby. Bring that FA Trophy back to Wales for the very first time. <laughs> Conference, I want to start today with some thanks. Firstly to Owen, as a colleague and as somebody who wants to see the best for Wales and who keeps the Tories very much on their toes. Also to the Welsh PLP for their continued opposition to awful plans like the bedroom tax. We know these conferences take some organizing, and I want to thank Dave and his team at Transport House for arranging yet another successful conference. Once again, you've done us proud. <laughs> I also want to pay a special tribute today to our trades union colleagues. At a time when so many jobs, terms, and conditions are under threat, you're the voice of working people. That's precisely why the Tories dislike you so much. So thank you for all the work you do for working people all over Wales. Thank you for the representation you give day in, day out on behalf of those workers in Wales who otherwise wouldn't have a voice. Can I also thank you for your support for Welsh Labour and your support for devolution and its development. Conference, let's show our appreciation for our trades union colleagues and their <laughs> crucial work. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to thank my colleagues in the Assembly. We have an extremely talented group of Assembly members and ministers. I know I took some of them by surprise last week with the reshuffle, but they took it well. We now have in Wales some of the most experienced ministers in Europe. So don't believe the Tories when they tell you that somehow devolution is a new process in Wales, because compared to most of us, the Tory-led government in London are the new kids on the block. In Cardiff Bay, we have experience and competence in Whitehall, Dithering and Fass. Conference, it's nearly two years since we put our case to the people of Wales at the last assembly elections. Two years since we made sure that uh, we were able to say to the people of Wales, vote Labour and you'll get a Labour government that stands up for you. And in those two years, of course, we've worked very hard to uh, represent people, to work with our local government colleagues, and of course, to work with our Westminster colleagues as well. Those two years have gone very, very quickly, but we have governed, I believe, on the basis of principle. We have said that we want to govern on the basis of the principles of decency, of mutual respect and hope. Of course, it's a million miles from the Tory vision of despair, division and abandonment. Conference, we know that these are tough times for our people. 
but I'm proud to stand here today to say that a Welsh Labour government has stepped up to the plate. We're doing all that we can to protect our people and to give them some hope through the economic gloom, a gloom made much worse by the inaction and indifference of the Tory and Lib Dem government at Westminster. Tough times that have required decisive action to be taken by this party in government. So what action have we taken? What have we done to boost growth and protect jobs? Well, our £30 million Wales Economic Growth Fund has fast-tracked help to Welsh businesses, giving them access to vital capital funding for investment projects. This has meant funding for 119 projects, which are expected to create 1,800 jobs and will safeguard a further 1,600. We've also announced a second phase of the fund with a further £30 million put towards it. Decisive action on behalf of our people. We've also developed a £40 million fund to provide crucial finance for small and medium-sized enterprises and the challenges that they face. In addition, we've created seven enterprise zones across Wales with a focus on key industrial sectors to deliver growth in these difficult economic times. We've also introduced a business rate relief scheme specifically for those enterprise zones. We're working with BT on the Superfast Cymru programme, which will transform the broadband landscape in Wales and promote economic growth and jobs. Crucial intervention on behalf of our people. When the Tories and the Lib Dems thought it was somehow acceptable to cut adrift another generation of young people by axing the Future Jobs Fund, we didn't just stand by and watch this happen, we took decisive action. And we created the Jobs Growth Wales programme. And since our last conference, I'm proud to tell you colleagues that our Jobs Growth Wales programme has helped to create 6,000 job opportunities with over 4,000 young people in work now who would otherwise be on the dole. That's Welsh Labour in action. Today, I can reveal to you that we're exploring ways to expand the program further to help even more young people get into work. Welsh Labour taking decisive action on behalf of our young people. On top of this, we're creating 45,000 apprenticeship places a year, as well as increasing the number and variety of higher apprenticeships that are available. And we're helping small and micro businesses with the cost of recruiting an apprentice. We're also encouraging young women towards taking up STEM apprenticeships and increasing the delivery of apprenticeships through the medium of Welsh. Why are we doing this? We're doing all of this because unlike the Tories, we refuse to abandon hope. We refuse to stand aside. We refuse to let austerity be an excuse to do nothing. Conference, even though these are difficult times for Wales, we can be proud of what we're doing for our people. Unlike other parties, we can look them in the eye and we can say, we're on your side. But as I stand here today, I can tell you our work is far from done. We're under no illusions that there's a long way to go on our journey. There remain huge challenges, both economically and socially, for this great party to address on behalf of our people. The work of government, of our Welsh Labour government, goes on. And I'll come back to the challenges that face us in a little while. But first, I'd like to set out my vision for the future. Let me tell you about what drives me, about what shaped me politically, about what gave me my social conscience. In short, what made me labour. I mean, only our blight, any healthy pobol are cheminede, you need bowed in wish. Pan Gerdod fe hen dyr ci o abyreiron i weithio fel holier yng ngwaith glor mardi yn hargwaith oedd yn edrych yn fywyd gwyll. Pan Gerdod hen dyr ci arall o winfe dros y munud ddif yn y man, yr oedd yn edrych yn fywyd gwyll. Pan ddechreuodd hen dyr ci arall yn y gwaith glor yn ddiddeg mlwydd od bydd y fe wedi edrych yn fywyd gwyll. Pan roiodd fe hen fy mgi a'i phlentyn cyntaf i dyluth i edrych ar ei hol chi achos roedd ei bŵr wedi marw bydd ei chi wedi eisiau gweld rhywbeth gwyll. We all joined this great party to help people and communities, to, make, to help make lives better.